Okay, y'all, we're at Target. We came for a soap hand dispenser for a liquid soap for the bathroom. And I tried a new technique today. I didn't get a cart because I figured, you know, I'd go in and get it and get out. But we all know how Target goes. So I keep seeing clearance everywhere and it's such a struggle. Let's see if I can get out of here with just uh, what I came in here for, soap dispenser. Wish me luck. Y'all see those tags over there? Those are like a happy sign. I feel happy seeing those signs right there. But I need to stay away. Y'all, you know those are great. And I've seen some really good 50% off a couple aisles over. So I'll keep you posted. Here we go, y'all. Here's my first temptation. You see this? lettuce grow kit and it's so cute and adorable and it's marked down from $30 to $8.98 and I so want it and I so don't need it and I would have nowhere to put it so yeah that's a hard one to walk past for me I'm gonna keep going you guys like all this lawn and garden stuff is on clearance how am I supposed to make it out of here without this stuff y'all oh man and they, oh, those are so cute. And they had some on the other side, Bri. Let's go check it out. Let's see. Lawn and Garden stuff is like 30% off right now. So if I can hold out, that's like $55 for that fire pit. These cute little tables are only like 14. Oh, this is so cute. I love this one, guys. But last time I bought a metal watering can from here, I only used it like once and it like rusted, I kid you not, so I didn't want to go metal anymore. They're getting ready for school stuff, so yeah. And what did Check Brian find? Pot potting table. Oh, is the potting table on clearance? Oh, they are. There's That one's on clearance. <gasps> you guys, it's on sale from $250 to $175. I wanted a potting table. Oh, look at this, y'all. It's a garden bed. It's marked down from 100 to 50. That is 50% off, y'all. And the outdoor cushions are on clearance. Let's see, you can see that. And the rug. Sorry, I know my camera takes forever to adjust and I like move a little too fast. But can yeah. you get me out of here without buying all this stuff? Yeah, we better go. <laughs> <laughs> we better make it. Okay, y'all, so I am back from Target. I wasn't as strong as I thought I was going to be, but I did very, very, very well. I did not get a cart, so I just bought what I could carry. <laughs> so I went in for this. This was it. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to get a cart. I'm going to go in. I'm going to get the soap dispenser and nothing else. So that was my challenge. Here's the soap dispenser I picked out. So, I noticed they had other cute items. So I really don't count it like too much as, I still think I did really good because the stuff I bought, it kind of goes with the soap dispenser. See here, I bought this glass, this top comes off. So I'm just gonna use it as a regular glass instead of a toothbrush holder because I bought these toothbrush and toothpaste holders, oopsie. So I bought me the light one, and I bought Brian the darker gray one. So I mean, it kind of all goes together. Like, it's not like I went down and bought all that clearance stuff that I wanted to buy. I did okay, I didn't stick to the plan. So, and then Brian had to have these, so these don't really count, but he got this for his truck. And he got these for my vehicle. So, yeah. I didn't do too bad. I didn't come out with like $500 of stuff. I only spent like 60 bucks on all this stuff. These are really heavy. They're like stone. They're, they're super cute. So, yeah, not too bad. Y'all, I'm so sad today. I was at um, one of those little Walmart grocery stores. I went to my dad's house today and I stopped by there just for a minute to pick up a few groceries to make something for dinner tonight. And somehow, my, while I was there, my cell phone turned up missing. Now, 
it wasn't, I went back to the store to see if they had it and they reviewed the part of the security footage around like the cash register and stuff because that seems the most logical place I would have lost it because um, that's when my purse was open and stuff. It had, I had to have lost it at that Walmart, I know, but the security footage didn't see me dropping it or anything around the register. So maybe I'm thinking when I got out of the car or on the way out to the car. But, yeah, I'm so upset and sad. All my stuff is on that phone. And then we kept calling it. Whoever found it immediately turned it off. Um, it was fully charged. It wouldn't have just went off by itself. So that's disappointing too. It's really disappointing that there's so many people out there, people even out there that would steal. When you know something is not yours and you don't turn it in, you know, you could have took it up to the counter there at Walmart or whatever. That's stealing. If you keep it, you find something like that, you could have turned it in, you don't. That's that's called stealing. And you know, it's very sad to me that there's actually people out there like that because my husband and I aren't like that. We're honest people. Had we found somebody else's phone, we would have immediately turned that in or looked on the phone to see if there was a phone number to call, you know. Um, we wouldn't have just turned it off and kept it for ourselves. It's very disappointing that there's people out there like that. You know, I mean, I don't know. Have you guys ever lost your phones? If so, did you get them back? Let me know down below in the comments how you got them back, if so, as I'd really like to know. We're going to try to track the phone, but they said they can't do it right now because the phone is off, so I don't know how that process works. I don't know how to go about tracking it or anything. I mean, it was nice of Walmart to go through and look at their security footage to see if they can see who took it, but... They didn't have any luck. I mean, we didn't go anywhere else. Like I said, I had the phone on the way home in the car because I was looking at it. And I must have, when um, before I got out of the car and put my phone in my purse, I was thinking maybe I didn't put it all the way in my purse. Maybe I set it like on top of my purse instead of it going all the way in. And then maybe it uh, fell, you know, so... I don't know, it's just very disheartening that there's dishonest people out there. You know, when you find something and you know it's not yours, you turn it in or you find the proper owners. So I'm so sad, all my stuff is on there and family pictures, stuff like that that I can't get back. So that makes me sad. <sighs> all right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. My husband's still in there on the phone with Sprint. To see what we can do. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Like my video. And let me know down below if you've ever had a phone lost or stolen. So let me get this off. Okay thanks guys.